guys, it's Friday, it's May 11th, and I just wanted to share something with you that I got in the mail the other day, it was yesterday. Um, I won a little um, giveaway on Instagram, and uh, it was from uh, Nittany Draws, or Brittany Copley. Um, I think I'm saying her last name right, forgive me if I'm wrong. Um, I'll link her um, channel description down below. Um, I don't think she uploads regularly on YouTube, but she does have some, um, some work on there. Um, she sent me a couple of these little stickers, and I wanted to show this first because I wanted to flip a page in the book, but she sent all of these markers. I've never tried the Touch 5 markers before, so it is really cool that she sent those. Um, they have the fine bullet nib, and they have a broad chisel tip on there as well. No brush tip. Um, I think I have enough here where I can successfully make a little picture, maybe, and uh, there's different blues, so maybe um, even a flower or um, something water themed that I could make for um, a review video for YouTube. So um, I got the markers, which is great. Um, that's pretty cool because I've never tried those before. And uh, there's also um, some more art in here as well. She has a little thank you uh, card in here and she sent a whole bunch of stickers. Um, that's the reason why I wanted to show my book here first because she sent these. And um, I also wanted to show that I've already swatched the markers and they're really nice colors. Um, they do go through this paper. This is only mixed media paper, so they did go through quite a bit and onto the other side. But they are alcohol based markers so they're not meant to be used on this kind of paper anyway but the colors are really nice and I'm curious to see what other colors you can get in the in the touch 5 set I believe there's like a hundred and so many odd different colors but I'm gonna have to go and check it out but um, anyhow this is some of the other art that she sent I really like this one this one's nice and this one here she has a really really um, different style of art and it is super cool there's this one and this one right here so yeah that was really cool to get that in the mail yesterday i really i really like her art and um, i wasn't expecting all of this i didn't even know what i was going to get and i believe four other people um also got something so i'm not sure if everyone got the same or if we all got something different but it's super cool thought i would show you guys that um i'm actually home from work today because uh, selena didn't have any school and uh, we didn't have a sitter so um, i had to stay home from school from work today um, and uh, yeah so Jeremy is um, he's working his last day this week he's taking an overtime on Tuesday so he's off um, Saturday Sunday Monday and most of Tuesday so maybe we'll get some interesting vlog footage if we go out somewhere and uh, hopefully the vlogs will um, start getting a little bit more regular again so I'm gonna go do something and uh, I'll be back a little bit later Hey guys, it is um, Saturday. It's the 12th of May and um, I just wanted to pop it. I'm just, I'm working on my co-worker slash boss slash whatever. I'm, I'm not really sure what to call her, but she she's a manager of the museum and there's something wrong with her computer, so I'm working on that right now. Um, but I just wanted to pop in because it's installing updates and I got a second. Um, I, I just wanted to give an update. I know a while ago I was saying that I was doing like a dieting thing because I wanted to fit into a wedding dress and everything. And I have been on a low carb, not strict, uh, a low carb diet for about a month now. And um, I have, three hamburgers in the past month so I've had three burger buns that's the only bit of bread that I've eaten um, for the entire month I haven't had any pasta in about two months now it's it's been about two months since I've had pasta um, I am having um, sugar supplements so it's stevia I believe so I haven't been using sugar there may be a, there may be some like sugar in some of the things that I'm eating because I'm not really reading labels I'm just managing things that I know that I can manage and I haven't really been eating a lot of processed food either a lot of the things that we've been eating I've been cooking from scratch at the house um, like um, we've had spaghetti squash and meatballs which I made everything and we'll have salmon and spinach salad and and all that kind of stuff so I have been making food at home and I weighed myself this morning I'm gonna do it again next week um, but I am the lightest I've been today since 
Um, well, when I moved here back in 2010, since then I've gained 15 pounds. Um, <laughs> I know that's horrible because I'm not I'm not a small person as it is. Um, but I am the lightest today that I have been since I've gained those 15 pounds. So something is working, and um, I've been eating um, some chia seed pudding and everything for breakfast lately and throughout the day if I get hungry um, because the chia seeds are supposed to help you be full longer so I've been eating that with some um, frozen fruits and whatnot I know I'm not supposed to eat a lot of fruit because there's sugar in the fruit but I'm not adding any sugar to the pudding or anything like that so it's, I'm using coconut milk which there's a tad bit of sugar in I guess um, and then it's the chia seeds and some French vanilla flavoring and just the frozen fruit and that's it um, and I think it's somewhere like 200 calories per serving for like a, um, I use a, a little cup um, that you can drink out of and I kind of fill it halfway with the chia seeds the pudding and then I put berries on top of it so um, it's roughly about 200 calories and um, I guess something's working because I, I do feel better I'm not bloated anymore I know some people may think that's gross but if you eat bread a lot then it it's it makes you bloated and it's gross and I've been cutting back on sugar and salt and all that kind of stuff so um, I just wanted to pipe in and say that something is working and I feel a lot better my like I still have aches and pains and everything but um, when it comes to feeling gross after eating I don't feel gross anymore and it feels really good um, but I just wanted to pop in and say that but the computer's almost done installing updates here so I'm gonna show off again um, I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing tonight um, but I have to work again tomorrow unfortunately tomorrow's Mother's Day but I have to work anyway um, and then I'm off Monday and Tuesday as normal so and Jeremy's off until Tuesday night too now so we're gonna go out and do some yard work I think after I'm done work um, but other than that I'm not really sure what's happening Hey guys, I'm out at the warehouse one and um, I'm out looking for some clothes today. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I think it's kind of cute. And uh, it's it's a longer shirt. I kind of have it just tucked up right now, but um, that's what I'm doing. Out looking for some summer clothes. So yeah, um, I got a few things, so I'll show um, everything that I have when I get home. Hey guys, I'm using the camera or the mirror again today because I'm going to show you um, a couple of things that I bought at the store. Um, I bought this longer, I know it's a little bit, let's see if I can't turn on this light, there we go. I bought this at the store so it's just a longer, um, I bought this sweater and I got this longer shirt that kind of covers my butt um, for, you know, wearing leggings and everything out. Um, I usually don't wear leggings like that. Um, I usually just wear like a, a sweater or something. I'm talking to the mirror because, in, anyway. Um, and then I also got this pink one that's the same as the blue one that I'm wearing. And it was really nice. I'm going to talk to the mirror here because so, you know. Um, it was really nice because I was able to buy a large t-shirt um, or a um, a tank rather than an extra large because I usually end up buying an extra large. Um, I also got this one. Um, I wore this one yesterday. It's Tuesday currently. This one says let's get wrecked. Um, I thought that was really cute so I got that one. That one is in a large as well. Um, I used to wear extra large so it's really nice that I can go in and, um, and get smaller clothes. And let's see here. Let's see if I can't do this. Never mind the mess in the background. And this is the one that I had on yesterday. It says if I can't wear my flip flops, then I'm not going. So that's the other one. And this one is a large as well. It looks like a really large, large, but it's really not that bad. But those are the things that I bought at the I figured store. that I would uh, show you guys what I got. So I ended up getting um, four tanks and a sweater, all for about $70, which wasn't too bad. Um, at Warehouse One, it was buy one, get one free. So that's why I ended up getting two tanks there. And... Um, and I also got two tanks at Eclipse as well because those were two for 24 when they were supposed to be $15 a piece. Um, so I got two tanks there and then I got this sweater here at Ardeen's and it was 40% off. So everything I bought had a sale so I wasn't, uh, it, it wasn't too, too bad. I mean I have dresses and everything that I can wear for the winter. Hey! What are you doing? I have tanks and everything that I can wear for the summer, not the winter. I think it just said winter. Um, but 
I don't really have a lot of things that fit me properly. Um, so buying the four tanks and everything yesterday wasn't too, too bad. Um, we didn't do much of anything Sunday after I was done work because it started to rain. So we didn't get a chance to do anything. But hey guys, so it's uh, it's Tuesday night and it's about 11, uh, 8, 18 or so. And I thought I would show you a few things that I've done since... Um, the last time I showed the art that I was doing. So I did this last night. Um, it's kind of like a female BLGs type thing. I really like how it turned out. And I'm thinking I'm going to turn her into a sticker and put her on Redbubble. But I think um, I made you another copy of it and fixed the hair. I'm not overly fond of how the hair turned out. But I do like the overall piece um, that I'm working on. So it kind of looks, it, it looks neat. I think I did a really good job with blending with the Copics and everything this time. And, um, I've done a couple of things in my book here as well. I, I don't think I showed these. If I did, I apologize. Uh, I'm trying to learn how to draw some stylized, uh, cartoon dogs and, and things. And I also did this bird up here. Um, this is them with, um, pit pens and Posca paint pens as well. But that's pretty much all the art that I've done. Um, and I said I was going to show you guys, um, the, the bead thing, um, the, the jewel painting. So I was just hiding it underneath here so the cat doesn't pick up the paper. Um, but this is pretty much what I have done. Um, I just have the top piece here I left to do and most of the blue and the owl's wings. And then I have it completed. And I've been working on it, um... I've been working on it for about, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks now, I think, around about that, and uh, I have it all done. It is really neat. I'm definitely going to get another one at some point in time, maybe in a couple of weeks, because, like I said, I do have the sketchbook here that's staring at me, and I want to do the sketchbook slam, but I have to wait until after uh, the first week of June to decide whether or not I'm going to do it before or after or... Um, in June or July or August when when exactly I'm going to do it so I have to wait for that um, but I it is nice to have this so I have something because I can go between my, my art and I can go between this this is kind of like a mindless thing to do and I feel like if I'm tired of working on my art stuff and I just want to veg and watch TV or something maybe or um, if me and Jeremy are sitting and watching a movie or something I can work on this and I don't have to think about it too much um, so it's it's really nice to have around and you know, all this plastic comes off. The only thing I don't like about it is that the glue has gone over the, the side of the picture here and I understand because the, the plastic is sticking down to it but it gets really dirty and um, you know I'm laying my sweater down on it and it's picking up the lint from my sweater and then there's some cat fur in there and there's some dog fur in there so it doesn't look the greatest but I'm sure if I decided to actually frame it um, which I probably won't I'll probably just roll it up and put it somewhere um, because I'm not interested in like showing these pieces on the wall or anything unless it's like a really big piece that I really really like um, but as of right now I'm just probably gonna roll this up and stick it somewhere but I do have a couple other ones that I do want to get that's um, twice the size of this one and it's like fairies and, and whatnot so um, that's probably what I'm going to do with that but I'm going to call the vlog done and I hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions or comments let me know down in the comment section and uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already I know it's a really um, um, youtuber thing to do to say all of that but um, it really helps out my channel and if you're into my art and everything head over to my art channel as well and uh, subscribe to me over there if you haven't done so already but anyhow it's uh, it, it's getting late not late but you, you know um, so I'm gonna call vlog done and I will see you guys in the next video okay bye for now